How's it going everybody? In today's video we're going to be talking about the best skate parks of 2021, what's to look like in the future for skate parks and why they are the best skate parks. And I'm going to have my friend Shane join us today. I'm going to make some cold brew so that we have some coffee to, to drink on while we have this conversation. And this is a new type of series of videos I want to do on this channel. I don't really know what to call this, critical thinking, I don't know. Going into 2021, I really want to start advocating for the things that I think aren't talked about too much in skateboarding. That's basically what this video is going to be all about. All right, everyone, thanks for joining us. Today we're going to talk about skate parks, all about different skate parks. I got Shane joining us. Shane, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, my name's Shane Yi. I'm an architectural designer um, with an interest in uh, skateboarding. And, you know, I know Dowdy from just skating around San Diego for like a decade now probably <laughs> that's right yeah so it's always cool i think to have someone with like a different perspective too because you're a skateboarder you're a skateboarder first kind of right and then you got into architect as more of like a career path type of thing yeah it makes sense and i think that's what's always cool is like you kind of now can cross pollinate a little bit your skateboarding with your your like you passion know, kind yeah of your thing. passion your passion with also your i don't know profession yeah you know per se so yeah, um, I guess we'll just dive straight into it. What I what I wanted to start with is like what we think are the best skate parks right now, and uh, maybe we can dive into like why they're good. We can do it will limit to like the top three. Okay. That way, that way no one can, we don't go on too far. Um, yeah. Do you want to do you want to start off? Yeah, I'll start it off. Um, basically, with skate parks, uh, they're like kind of an ab abstraction. That's how I think of them because from like ditches or pools or just like a sidewalk where like skateboarding started, the flat surface. Um, then I guess the parks were made as like twofold, I guess like a place for people to do that so they wouldn't be maybe messing up some kind of other public thing going on or private. Like a contained environment. Like contained, but also to like maybe improve if the spot was an ideal that was just the, the original spot. So I, I like to think of them like that, like like they're. It's not something that you really bump into, in the street that was probably like an accident. It's something that somebody's trying to like, they're trying to think of what would be good for someone. So it's all kind of abstract in that way. That but but the thing the thing about it is like. Well, okay, there's like street skateboarding or like freestyle or slalom, but when it gets into like transition, I guess people were skating like school banks like uh, asphalt banks to hold like some kind of terrain from slipping into the playground or something like this the pool is i guess like kind of the birth of what most people think of transition and it wasn't ever really meant for skating so in that way they're trying to take this thing that wasn't meant for skating and then appropriate it in the skate park so like i don't know that's that's how i think of skate parks they're like it's not the real thing. It's like a composite, but it can like aid the skateboarder or something like this. That makes sense. What do you what do you think like what skate parks have been the most successful at doing that? That well, the thing is like the it's like is there? I would ask you this: Is there like a, a an original pool or like what is the prototype that they're trying to get after? Um, I guess. They're trying to like facilitate the skateboarder's needs. What are the what is the prototype? It's just replicating, kind of like what your point is, like replicating what was you know as you I think once put it the happy accidents right. Then yeah. have made it like such these like sort of skatable objects. So yeah, I think in in I mean it's kind of like a it's a very you know I guess like. Uh, high level ways of explaining it would be that they're just trying to facilitate to skateboarders. But I think it obviously goes so much more, you know, I mean, deeper down to that. But I think that's what oh, my, my thoughts are when it comes to like what they're trying to achieve. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. There's like, the, the park designers now think of it how we can get the skaters to perform. And then they, they think about it on like different levels, like beginner, intermediate and expert. Yep. And I guess me and you would probably be like expert <laughs> or like maybe not, ex but like for the average guy for a, like, okay, expert as in like at the skate park, we could probably drop in or roll in on it almost everything. Yeah. yeah. So like, 
the ones that have facilitated me the best have been the ones that, you know, maybe they took a little extra time on setting the coping so there's not like a crack before it or something, or, or maybe the, uh, the transition is nice because like certain transitions can lend to certain tricks, but everyone's different. Like some people, like the ollie air guys aren't gonna like the like vert uh, transition. And then the guy who can only, like me, I can only really air if it's like vert. I can't really ollie air, so. It's always like subjective to like how the type of skating or, or what you're conditioned to or what you like yeah, doing. Yeah, I think so. So it's hard, it's hard for me to say which one provides for the skateboarder most, but I guess something, something, well, a lot of what I'll say is gonna like contradict itself. I'll just, <laughs> off the bat. Like, that, that, that's critical thinking it's, though. It's you kind of have to like look from both perspectives, right? It's super subjective too, but like, so, so like facilitating the skateboarder, I could maybe say like which which skate park facilitates the skateboarder the most. It would maybe be one that um, can like cater to all types of skaters. But the the condition that I'm seeing in a lot of the uh, skate park designs now, with a few exceptions, maybe like Evergreen or something. I don't want to throw out like a name or whatever, but like there's this problem now where they do everything but nothing specific. So it's like they have a bowl, they have a flow, and they have a street, almost like formulaically, but like it doesn't do anything good. So then it's like the whole park was wasted. <laughs> you know, whereas like... No, I resonate with that very much. <laughs> I do resonate with that very much. It kind of, and, and that's where I feel like I have challenged a lot of times designers, like I guess we could go into it is like there's, uh, you know, a recently there was like a skate park meeting there. Everyone was putting their input on about the design of this skate park, you know, and everyone's like, well, I want the bull, or I want the stairs, and how big and how how big can the bull be, or how big can the stairs be? We need something for everybody. Something, a lot of the things we've already covered in this video, but I think like what I found challenging is like, well, how do we make it unique? How about we take, you know, just like two letters, S, V, and use those letters and work from there versus just working from like a template, because kind of, that's kind of what you're, that's not what you're saying, but that's what I feel, is that a lot of times you're working from a template and you're saying, hey, this is what's good. This is what exists. Tell us what you like from what's good and we'll make you it. And then that becomes like um, a little bit of a boundary to creating anything creative. But um, I guess subjectively to, to, for, to my point, I think what, what skate parks facilitate the best to me is here in San Diego is the Borrego Springs Skate Park. I don't know if you've ever been there. I like that one a lot. Um, Ocean Beach Skate Park. And then uh, the, nether, the last one would be Fallen Park in Copenhagen. And it's oh, I've never I, been there. I've I, heard that one's really good. Yeah, and, and again, I can say those are the best skate parks ever right now that exist in 2021. But again, that's totally subjective to me, and it's really hard. And I think that's like what you bring up a good challenging point is like what is what is the best skate park? You know, because there there is no best skate park in a way. I guess it's kind of yeah, it's you know, kind of it's everyone's say. preference <laughs> yeah. because. Uh, also, what's surprising to a lot of people is when they get into like thinking about skate parks and designs like you and I have skated so many parks, probably just like, probably close to like a thousand, right? Like, you're like maybe in the high hundred, like 500, thousand, but yeah, maybe. Uh, there's, you cross that line where you're like, actually shitty is like good. So then it's yes. like, like Thank you for then that. it's like, uh, like, like sometimes like, like I don't like I don't really have any. I'll just be honest. I don't have any fun at Linda Vista. Or like or any and almost anything I new. Call that out. Almost yeah. anything new. It's like yeah, I, I'm looking for like it's so bad that it's good. Or like you you brought up uniqueness. That I I totally understand that like struggle where it's like they're having a skate park meeting and they're just checking boxes. Like they're like we got something for little Johnny and Joey and he only does the stairs or whatever. But then like you have everything, but it's nothing's unique and it's all just. And like, that's why I wanted to start with the abstraction because you can do anything. And to think we've been in this box, like, like we've never really gone past like cradle, like, cause there, there's like a, a full pipes in the wild. Mm. Uh, you know, they've had like a U pipe. And they have um, that, like Tony Hawk did that one where it's like a That was the, down. that's the only that's new thing. Think of, like, anything that's the only thing yeah. progressive that I've <laughs> ever seen a design like. They can't even get past like, yeah, I mean, Cradle, I guess is pretty, pretty damn cool. I love yeah. Cradles. If, yeah, if totally. every park had a Cradle, I'd be happy. 
and they're starting to do it and like that hawaii one they have the mini cradle but then that creates that same philosophy yeah but then it's like yeah <laughs> okay now we're just doing a cradle because we need a cradle yeah but i'll take a cradle too because i'm like well at least like i can roll in this park and there's like a a monument or like right, it's like right. kind of like a staple that but yeah use. like they're so bad like the etnies park read that got redone uh lake forest has that like cradle and it's like you don't even need a cradle because you got everything else and i think oh, they even right. have tile they in the cradle it in there almost i've never like, even been there i yeah. i like i haven't been there since uh like when niger used to skate there yeah. when i i guess he was probably on soltech because soltech was right above it like totally. es and all that yeah but um so that kind of brings me to my next point uh, and then we kind of transitioned but i, I want to say like what makes a bad skate park i think we kind of covered it but yeah like cookie cutter for me bad skate park is like the the number one thing that i see that's a bad skate park and maybe pros like maybe lance and salvo would like disagree with me but like the number one thing that makes a bad skate park is that kind of new style pool coping mm -hmm. where it's like glass marble it's and it's like <laughs> you it's don't literally even... <laughs> like metal coping but it's it's in it's, like a um a, what do you call it um like a bowl like a fake bowl yeah, like a uh, fake bowl with fake coping <laughs> yeah it's so weird that's a good <laughs> but like i don't know that's that that's like one of my pet peeves because then you're like uh like i would love to ride like a bunch of different trucks but i ride a certain truck like indy because when you grind it's like the loudest sound that's it i'm not backing them on anything else like you know maybe some i think thunder is still made in the u.s like but it gives just <laughs> yeah i've written like ace and everything and i love them and i like i like their thing a lot and like See, I'm going into like, nay, I, I don't want to bum anyone out, but just, I go for like the sound of skating too. So like, sometimes it's like, okay, it's got like 50%, like you got the tile good, so I can make a sound there. But then the coping, which is like the main event is bad. So then it's like, what, what happened? Like, yeah. I don't know. That, almost made that, it to the touchdown. Then yeah, fumbled. like, <laughs> so they get like a C. But um, uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of like, I mean, there's like the more obvious ones where it's like the guy wasn't a skater mm -hmm. but then like we said it could be so bad that it's good but like yeah like something of course really dumb where it's like there's no run up for like the rail or like or some, yeah, that's You're like right. a, that's like a wall where the rail ends yeah that's like yeah. its own thing but yeah. that's like, kind of funny i think that's cool like, and you can make it fun you can make that <laughs> actually fun <laughs> so, so it, it's almost like it kind of goes back to that the happy i think you said that the happy accidents are kind of like the best skate obstacles in a lot of times yeah i think so because sometimes it's like you know there was just like like in the wild i'll say like in the streets like yeah like somebody backed into like a pole and it's like a pole jam over a fire hydrant and right. just like a happy accident like it just or like there's like a random bank that like it probably was like oh like somebody decided to concrete up it later like and it like it just got those curves because what what throws off a lot of the like normal sidewalk contractors and other people is they freak out when they see the like like if you were building a spot, like a skate park guy might be like, "That? How did you do the curve? Because they're not doing yeah. really curves. So usually the curve is like stuff, something, yeah. yeah, like really they overthink it too. Yeah, yeah. Because sometimes <laughs> you're like, dude, if you just like literally just fucking blow it on the wall with some concrete, it's still yeah. gonna work. You yeah. don't have to like. People are Over like, yeah. Sometimes yeah. people are always like, dude, I'm building this Miriam Shane. Like, help me out. Like what's the rate the radii or like the radius is i'm like dude what it could be anything anything's fun and like I, I guess there's another point on that which is like you can like skateboarders kind of broke free uh like they broke out my theory you know it like it's like mimics uh the theory of evolution where like uh these sea creatures come out of the water and they go onto the land right so yeah, it's like same that, with yeah. skating yeah. like yeah. servers like <laughs> yeah, going totally. and then we're on the land but uh so like you can try to design for them, but the skaters are the ones who broke free. So like you can have the best bowl ever and some kid could just like ollie to the flat bottom. It's just, so like then, then it's like, okay, with skate park design, like let's let's think about it as like a, the, 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 the place, like the large place, like sometimes I, the park might suck, but it's like there's nice trees and I'm up on the hill and it's like, oh, this is rad. The only thing is the park sucks. You know, so it's like yeah. there's other things that could come into the design or like I guess on the larger scale you could have the skate the individual parks then you could have the skate network mm -hmm. so then in that way when you're thinking about it from more up high like above you don't need uh you don't need everything all in there where it's watered down like you don't need like you could have well like in this section of the city there's the really good street section 
So let's not put yeah, a bowl really there. Like that. That's really cool. And then like let's have the you know then the bowl thing is over here, and then it would be fun because then you could like skate to each one. And they all kind of have on. their own purpose. Yeah, then they're more like purpose versus like here we're gonna give you everything. Here's your here's your X Games park. Go. Yeah, like and then there it's more like that would be like contextual skate park design. Right, like thinking exactly. about the the greater context. And which has I, there been that before? Like contextual skate park design? Does that exist? I don't know, cause like like you said, like they go to the skate park meetings, which I don't I don't feel welcome there. I never have, even though I have a lot to say. Have, Just because there's, so the, there's, there's, so <laughs> there's so many there's lots of there's so many stakeholders and like <laughs> yeah, other people, and you're like, thing. so I don't even go there. <laughs> I'm on the level of just like critic or just like you know like you and me philosophizing right. about stuff and, and yeah. people everything we're saying is not new everyone knows yeah. this yeah, yeah, but yeah. maybe it doesn't reach the service of it just needs to be conversation or just talked about more and more and more or getting pushing it to some place because nobody know, has the answers but it's about like trying to push it to a place where we understand it better i think totally you know what i mean i think i think okay if we did top three parks with me of course washington street's number one yeah and what's cool about that one is that like okay from design there's like the traditional top down design everything is planned like the top down but with washington street it's bottom up so like you start with one section and then you're like okay well this could tie into that and that could tie into this so you, you almost couldn't plan that so they adapted again kind of it's like almost like the adapt it seems like a little bit yeah like, like adapting and it's to the environment more than bringing it to more the than just yeah yeah like trying to use the environment to its advantage mm -hmm. instead of trying to in, just put your will on the environment but the it takes time and stuff but like if you so some people would say you could never design burnside or washington street yeah. because it was like one section one section one section but you can borrow different things from what they're doing and you actually might be able to come up with like something that's close like uh, like all, cause like it's so complex because it was all like hodgepodge, like, like just, uh, crazy. But yeah, I, I, I think that that's like, a, that, that is totally different than like a skate park design. That's just yeah. like doing it and build as you go. Right. Yeah. So like, and that's, I think why it's kind of the best. Cause like there was, the planning was done like on the spot with whatever they had material wise and it, it's just like you're it's hard to replicate you know what i'm saying like it would i don't think you can i think you could if you figured out like how it's working like the form because it's all kind of one bowl in a way but there are like sections but you kind of flow into different sections more than you would in like another park where it's like yeah. okay we got the bowl for these guys this for these guys and this for, so what i think is really different about those two parks that you mentioned too is that they've changed yeah. You know, like, like not only did they change, not only did they develop over like a long time, and then that was part of changing, but like even taking things down and then like restructuring them. No city or any other like official skate park's gonna like be like, actually, this doesn't flow. Let's let's restructure some of this. You know. That would be sick if they did that, because yeah. then it could like be more take more advantage of that space they have and and really utilize it. I wish they like. would do that with Dallas. They mm -hmm. kind of did like Dallas and La Mesa is what we're talking about, and because we're we're near there right now, but uh, it was like a YMCA park with half concrete, half wood. And then they, the YMCA, like they, they were charging and they weren't making any money because people in East County didn't skate except for like me, Matt, <laughs> like it was like five people. Yeah. Um, and then like, it was like, okay, they're like not making money. So then they're like, okay, we're shutting it down. They took away all the wood stuff. And then the skaters were like, okay, well, we're not gonna stop skating this. Yeah. So like for months we would just hop the fence and skate and there would be like 30 guys in there like a total like 1980s like the, the gate locked after the, they took the wood off. Yeah. No, we we would cut holes okay, in the yeah. fence and it was like a total 80s like backyard vibe where like it's all just like weekend warriors and like freaks. No one like no it's pro. It's becoming the DIY spot. Yeah, it Even was like a, it was <laughs> not but it was like a cool vibe and like everyone's like oh we're in here illegally but we're like fighting for this and then and they were like okay, well you guys can keep it. And then they like they did like make that one quarter pipe, but it's like, there, it yeah. was made by si sidewalk contractors and it has the worst kink yeah. ever. <laughs> but it, like, it kind of makes it funny. <laughs> I, I, I almost wonder, it and, and, and that's like something I wanted to get into was the next thing is, is why are skate parks designed the way they are? And we kind of already covered some of this, but, but like design versus construction, I guess is like kind of the topic I wanted to explore a little bit. And that's like funny you brought that up. That's why I thought it was like a good segue. It's a lot of times these kind of to the other points, like, you have these skate park designers and they know what people want now. And it keeps doing that same thing though, where you're replicating what people want, 
Or if you throw some city or somebody in there that doesn't really know how to do it, but they get like some some foundations of it and they try to execute it, it ends up being like that. Like that. It's Dallas sometimes situation. better. But because it's it's not meant to be perfect. Yeah, yeah. Or like they I think they think it's gonna be perfect, but they just have no idea what they're doing. That's that, a like, way to put it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like they blow it so bad that it was good, like or it's like an amateur I don't know, it's like an like once you, I guess once you get into the rhythm of like your brand as like a skate park designer, maybe that's why people hire you and maybe right. that's hard they're, to they're deviate from because yeah. you're like, this is my product. Like, yeah, I, I mean, that's like part of the identity with that design group. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. Like, Makes like, sense. you know, some of the people that are doing like kind of like the moonscape kind of thing or like they're going to hit that hard and that's why people hire them. And those are, that's kind of a cool progressive thing, but yeah, like it gets like, like, like you were saying earlier, uniqueness and like, what have we never seen before? Mm -hmm. Like you can do something that we've never seen before, but yeah. then you can keep doing that over and over and over again. And then it's like, okay, right. it was yeah, cool the first time because we, we never yeah. saw that before. Um, what would you tell, like if you, just from a whole, you know, uh, anonymous perspective, what would you tell like ski park design groups you would, you would like to see maybe executed differently? I'm just throwing this out there. And well, it, it's really tough for them because they're like feeding, they're, putting a they're feeding their from, family, from, and there's budget, and there's like professionals. Well, they're also probably listening to the city and the community, right? Of course, yeah. Saying, so. so like they're really good people because they like they have to like bite the bullet and say okay, and like uh, hey, let's be pragmatic about this. So it's like a whole different world. Like you know, most like I would say almost like most skaters sometimes are like almost opposed to skate park designers because they're like, well, you guys fucked up again or like whatever. But uh, they, they're in a tough position because it, it is, it's all about the dollar. Can't go over budget. And it's like, can you take a risk? That's why like those Grindline and Dreamland parks are still so awesome because I guess there's like things where they were just going off. Like they would have a design and then change and do what they wanted. And quite like, a lot, yeah. But then it's like, how On did they site. do that? And what was the really story? I would like to talk to Red about that. Like, like no permits. Just, just or just of. like they, I guess in like Haley or like, and like they were like, it was supposed to be like Dallas. And then they're oh. like, okay, this is like 20 feet high. What happened? And then I guess he had to calm him down. Like, no, it's, this is good. The kids can like grow into it. And they like totally sold it to him. And then you're like, what? Like, how could you, that's like, that's cool though. Because that's like the, I feel like that's the mindset of the skater. Just like go, like do it first and then ask questions later. Yeah. Or like just barge it. Like, and that's like, yeah, that same flaw. That's that same philosophy. One thing I wanted to think, like, kind of talk about too, is like, and I think it's a little bit different than this, and I don't want to segue from it, but like, how, and just from your perspective, maybe, um, is like, how does the community get more involved in what the skate park ends up being? You know, like, because I, I guess, like, kind of to your point, like, this, you said something about like a, all these different skate parks connecting and kind of being this inclusive skate circle or what, like skate network kind of thing. Like, how can, how can you do that? Like, how can each community sort of, like, advocate for, like, hey, we're, we're willing to be, like, the street skate park, and that's, like, what they want. Like, you know, like, how does that start? Because then, I guess, the, 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 the problem that I'm arising is I think designers are these certain situations end up everybody wants that same thing. Everybody wants one of everything in that skate park. So how, how, does, how do we, like, convince people, like, hey, this park is just, like, the park for like tinking around and slappies and stuff you know yeah that's tough i mean it's like i guess you could make that argument at the meeting and then hope you, you stand or fall <laughs> like it's like, like first of all no one knows about the meeting now with social media you do more yeah, yeah. but in like 10 years ago five I'm, years ago no clue there's no it. it's gonna be some kid who's like comes from like a good family and his family knows about politics and maybe they'll tell him to go represent <laughs> Cause he's, he's like just because he's the kid right? and we they, it's still we still have that vibe sometimes yeah. now where sometimes yeah. i'm at the skate park meeting and there's a guy who like skates right but i'm like i've been out here almost like going on like 25 years i've never seen this guy you know what i mean <laughs> or like or like like uh is this guy does this guy skate like who who is this guy and he's like the main spokesperson and then you're like okay, well, I'm done. I don't want to be a part of this later. And I think that, that, <laughs> like, that, that challenge happens a lot. And then they, they, they kind of just take what they're getting gotten, you know, they take, that, that's, that, that's what's scary. What Cause who's ever in the room, I'm like, that's like a, that's like a fire in a room. Right. Like when I see like, there's a skate meeting, I get nervous and I'm like, oh my God. Some of the people that are in this meeting, like you need to be removed. <laughs> like, like, you know what I mean? Like it's, but that's the whole thing. Like that's, um, 
but going through like certain city officials and, and certain things like that, I guess that's just there's no other process, at least here in America. There's no other like way about it, right? Or well, who's making the design? Yeah, well, that could be maybe you could go to that person and be like, yo, yeah. dude, like they you can have their input. Yeah, you can have this survey and you have this data. So what I've had, I've done this and what I've heard from those people that have, that have are in that position. Tell me, like, you have to come and just advocate and you need people to come and advocate with you. So that's like that is a whole nother challenge. And it's just the community coming together and advocating for those changes. But um yeah, we don't have to go into all that, but I definitely do do agree with. with what I know, you're I know, I know what you're saying. Like, it's like it's because like, I'm the kind of person who I just like shut down. Right. And yeah. I, but like, if you did advocate and had that group of advocators, like, why not? They probably could do it. Because because then they're saying, hey, we are the people that are using this, and and then it comes down to now, and I think it's happening slowly now, especially this year. It's gonna happen even more and more with people just getting involved, but like showing data and showing that like, hey, here's how many people want this. Here's how many people want that. It's not just for, like me and my subjective opinion. Like we're yeah. sitting here talking about, here's this big group that's agreeing with us. And these are the people that live here in your community. So then it's, you have a little more of a supporting factor versus just like, oh, this is the skater kid. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Know? <laughs> you, ha- you have to have the advocates to, to move forward. And like that, that's part of democracy. It's like, it's this thing that's, this person wants this, this person wants this, and then it's a compromise. Exactly. So yeah. that's that's a hard pill to swallow, especially yeah. for someone like me Sometimes who's really hard get, hard like, headed. Yeah, you don't yeah. get the full thing, and then you're like, so that's why I like, I kind of like the private sector skate park stuff. Yeah. Because then it's like, okay, like, uh, what do you mean by that private? Like, it's not up to the community. I'm doing it alone, and like, so it's like Washington Street, like, or like here, or, yeah, yeah. or just like, or like, yeah, DIY, yeah. like. Um, but even even those like. Even, you know, doing something at a DIY park is, like, definitely, there's, like, huge democracy. Yeah, and, like, definitely, the stakes definitely. are really high. Yeah, the stakes are very and like, high. And, <laughs> like, yeah, like, it's it does, incredible. which yeah. is weird because it shouldn't be. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. But, I don't know, just on design is cool. Like, I, I wish more people that were, uh, like, um, enthusiasts and stuff would just, like, try to design. Because that's what's going to push it forward. So like even the maybe design. skateboarders trying even, to design, yeah, even like, if they have no, even no if they idea have about no, how Because there's so many tools and then even just drawing, yeah. like getting more people into that, I think is a really cool option. Because like, that's why I wanted to start with the abstraction, because there's no right or wrong. It's just a fake copy of happy accidents, people, like it's a backyard swimming pool. That's like, right. and not even a backyard swimming pool, a certain kind of like era of backyard swimming pools where they were like that you know it ju- it was like this thing lined up with this thing and then it happened skating like the first um one of like the what we think of of like the socal pool i guess is uh an alvaralto design from uh finland i think oh really the via myria or something like this uh because Alto is known as like a high modernist or like he's like kind of a hero of like international style modernism in architecture design but his furniture design and some of his vase designs are more like this Chemex or like they're more curvilinear Mm. and he did one in a bowl and I guess that became what the guys in SoCal like they took that idea and like made straight up pool companies and ran with it and made those kind of like amoeba type shapes so so so, uh but anyways it was just him instead of doing like a square or like a rectangle or like a Roman, he just, you know, kind of free handed it. And then it became like skateboarding <laughs> like, or like whatever. So, cool. so, so if there's more, I, I think I would like to ad- advocate for that more like just people, uh, the hobby of like just getting into it, like, getting into like it. skating or if you like the idea of obstacles and I mean, the things we're talking about, essentially, like, just, just try to, try to, like, start. Just drawing it, or, yeah, like, yeah. like, um, Alex from Borrowed Time Farms, mm-hmm. he does it. He, yeah. he has six skate park designs. I do want to talk about your, your, your project you're working on right Okay, now. yeah, so the skatable architecture. So, like, that, that's what I'm trying to work on. That's where I'm attacking it from. It's not even skate park design. It's just, like, architectural design. And then I'm trying to just put my spin on it from skateboarding and everything. So there's like three components. It's like the non-skatable buildings that are kind of skatable. Uh, and then there's like the skatable architecture, which is just some of those renderings I've made. You've probably seen yep. like 
They're super dope. Just like weird, surreal kind of stuff where you could like skate up to the second story or whatever. Yeah. But then the, the third component that I think is the most interesting that I'm trying to develop is like the in-betweens uh, or like the in-betweenity. So that's uh, basically somewhere in between a fully skatable building and a non-skatable building. So maybe it's like a like an like if you're talking about like an interior, maybe there's like a skatable feature that goes through it, so people could view them or whatever, and like it's not interfering with them, um, but like they're still kind of involved with it. So you could maybe skate on the outside, skate through it, or something like that. So that's like what I'm working on, but. Like it's, that one where you had the kind of, it almost looked like there would normally be pillars, but instead of pillars, you kind of like, like transition. Made transition. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's like, it's like, okay, it's like. It's like when you're, like when I'm dreaming, you're making it in, in rendering. Well, it's just like, it's, <laughs> it's kind of corny because it's like, okay, just everything that that's a wall, just make it skatable. <laughs> like whatever, like yeah. it's not a, it's not, it's not rocket science, but not many people have tried that. And uh, who knows where it will go. There's a lot of problems with like liability, uh, you know, sure, but you got to explore it. You yeah, you go just, there before you. I think it'll probably happen in like definitely the private sector before the public. Yeah, but uh, the public might have more money to like adapt that. But it's just it's all part of the thing, like just trying to make uh, more skaters, more skateboarding. Because at the end of the day, like there's still not enough skate places for skaters. Like I feel like people think of skate parks as like this is where you go to skateboard. And I think skaters, or just maybe for us to say it, or for me to say it, is that skate parks are, it's, it's the other way around, if that makes sense. I just don't know how to say that. Like, skate parks aren't for you to go skateboard at. Like, sure, yeah, you go there to go skateboard, but, like, essentially, that's just a place to, like, really get you conditioned to go really skateboard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's not the... not made for skateboarding. It's not the final place, and also, that's a, a one criticism that I... A big criticism I have with the contemporary parks... They don't have the moment. You need the moment. if Okay, because basically if you're filming a skate video, you don't want to be a loser in a skate park. That's so lame. You know, like you're just <laughs> filming on metal coping, like stop. Right. But now there's those rules have kind of gone away. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but if your skate park had the moment, you could do it. Like if it's got the gnarly vert wall or the one thing. Yep. And that one thing is usually really unique to that park. In that environment. In that right. environment. Yep. And you're like, well, th this is film worthy because this thing is sick. Right. But like some of the skate parks don't have the one thing anymore. Especially here, it's I and I'm not trying to hate on us, but I've definitely noticed, like maybe more so in Europe, a lot of their skate parks have that. Like, yeah. Where you're like you film there, you shoot there, and your your composition is just more like satisfying. Yeah, the ones Oski it. skate, I like because right. you said you've been over there, but yeah. I've never been over there. I'm like, this park looks sick. Like, right. Yeah. Um, a lot of them are skater made too, but they get permission okay. to the city. It's a whole different process. Whole different thing. Yeah. But they, like, like we don't have like the like. What, what's an example? Like, okay, so here, here's what I would call, like, the moment. Everyone here wants to go to Lake Elsinore because they have moments. And not mm. all the skate parks have the moments. You know what I mean? They're like, uh, Or, like, the love seat at Washington Street is, like, maybe the moment or, like, the channel. Yeah. You could just have a bunch of different moments, and that's super fun and cool. And it's satisfying to, and, to the per person writing and to the person viewing it, too. Yeah, like, it's... So there's just... I don't know. I li that's what I li would like to go for in a skate park design, like... Either just have it three foot pool coping, and we're all just digging around, and we're never gonna film here. But maybe the, we're filming here because it's like artsy and fun, because it's so chill. Yeah. But like, there's, yeah, I don't know. Besides like, that, make this one kind of obstacle, or or a few maybe subject just to that environment. Make there's it some unique. there's some like Connect failed them. moments too. Like, well, I don't want to name them, but there's like sometimes they go for the moment and then mess up, and then you're like, well, no one even wants to touch that thing, and it looks like crap on film, and like. Yeah. It just is shitty anyway, so. That, well, maybe Poway was like, but yeah, okay, I'll say Poway. Like, it was too much metal coping. Yeah. Maybe the vert wall was okay, but, like, Nora had that video ad where it's, like, she's just in the middle flow section skating the, the metal coping rounds, and I'm like, I like that footage because yeah, yeah. she's... Because it's fun to watch. Because she's I, always fun to watch because yeah. certain people, like, Gons, he could be skating a curb, and you're like, this is the coolest curb yeah. ever. But so. it's <laughs> But it's their approach, and, like... And if they're just, they're not approaching it like everyone else. And that's what makes it different. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. hundred percent. It's all the approach. Like, I guess, yeah, the, it doesn't really matter. It's like who, the, the skater is still important in the skate park design and in the city. It's, it's all comes down to the skater. We can't lose the skater in all of this. Yeah. Cool. Well, yeah, I don't really, I mean, I feel like we covered so much yeah. good stuff. I mean, <laughs> hopefully there's some good clothes, but it's fun yeah. talking to you. Yeah.
Cheers, dude. Appreciate yeah, it. We should go skate. <laughs> Thank you for making it this far in the video. I appreciate you. Let me know any ideas for this series. I need names, you know. I don't know what to call it. I don't want to call it critical skate talk because I think that's too literal. I want to have some fun with it. I definitely want to bring other guests on. There's so many different topics I really want to explore with this just sitting here and having a conversation. I had a lot of fun just sitting here and talking with Shane about this. We can go on and on and on for hours, but I don't want to make this video too long. So yeah, I would love any kind of feedback on this topic and the series of videos and different topics you'd love for me to explore in the future. I want to meet up with team managers, talk about how to be a good sponsored skater, um, meet up skate park designers and talk about that, or you know, company owners, all sorts of different aspects within the skateboarding culture. I just want to sit down and have constructive conversations. I think there's a lot of topics I want to explore, but I don't want to explore them on my own. I think having someone to kind of bounce something back and forth is just a lot more constructive and sort of pushes the needle into more of a progressive phase, hopefully. With that said, make sure you like this video. And if you enjoyed this series, if you enjoyed this topic, and make sure to comment down below with some ideas for names that I can call this series. I appreciate you guys. See you in the next one. Mash.